The plane crash that killed a rising star in the world of music and film. Reaction today after Aaliyah and eight others were killed when their plane went down. Jay-Z may be married to Beyonce, but his heart has always been set on Aaliyah, his first and probably only true love. Aaliyah was an amazing singer and a beautiful young woman before her untimely death in 2001. Although she didn't share too much about her personal life, rumors have swirled that Jay-Z was madly in love with her. The story of Jay-Z and Aaliyah, two of the most influential artists of their time, is one of a forbidden romance that shook the music industry. Their relationship was shrouded in mystery and speculation, but shocking new details have now emerged, confirming that Jay-Z has still not let her go and loves her dearly. Jay-Z and Aaliyah had a professional relationship that spanned several years, and their collaboration on several hit songs cemented their status as two of the biggest names in the industry. But it wasn't just their professional relationship that made headlines. In the late 90s, rumors began to circulate that the two were romantically involved. While neither Jay-Z nor Aaliyah ever confirmed their relationship, they were often seen together at events and in public cuddling up to each other. But this story goes way beyond that. Dash, Jay-Z's business partner, friend, and Aaliyah's boyfriend has spoken out and has revealed the truth about these two and whether or not they were in a romantic relationship or if they were just close friends. It seems that back then, Jay-Z had deep feelings for the more than a woman singer. Dash tells the media outlet that although Aaliyah never reiterated her feelings towards Jay-Z, he tried really hard to get her to date him. According to Dash, Aaliyah was so beautiful and so fun to be around that everyone wanted to get with her. He said that a lot of guys tried really hard to date her. Dash co-founded Rockefeller Records with Jay-Z in the 90s. According to Dash, Jay-Z tried everything he could to get Aaliyah to date him. He tried very hard, but it didn't work. Reports state that although Jay-Z and Aaliyah hung out one time, nothing ever came of it. In fact, once Aaliyah and Dash met each other, they started hanging out more and more and started having feelings for each other. The two dated from 2000 up until her death caused by the plane crash in 2001. Aaliyah was only 22 years old when she died in the plane crash in 2001. Although she and Dash weren't officially engaged before she passed away, they had talked about getting married a few times. That is how much they loved each other. She died. But um, you know what Aaliyah liked about me and what she loved about me was the fact that I had strength and I learned to live with my obstacles and deal with it. So you know, I know that she would, wouldn't have seen anything in me if she didn't see the strength to get through it but it definitely is still painful. I'm, I'm just able to uh, like look at her videos and hear her music. Dash said, I was not in love with Aaliyah through the television. I fell in love with her from hanging out and meeting her. She looked different than Aaliyah on the TV screen. At the same time, Jay-Z was madly in pursuit of Aaliyah, trying to not only date her, but eventually settle down with her. According to Dash, he didn't even know Jay-Z had feelings for Aaliyah before he started dating her. He said, I did not know Jay was trying to holler at her, but then it just happened like that. He was trying, I was trying, everybody was trying, he was going hard. Although Jay had real feelings for Aaliyah at the time, he came back to reality, realizing he was not going to be with her before her tragic death happened. He went on with life with Beyonce, and they have been together ever since and are married with children now. However, once Aaliyah and Dash started seeing each other, he and Jay-Z had a falling out. Some say because of Dash dating Aaliyah when Jay-Z was trying to date her. Fans have all kinds of wild theories when it comes to Jay-Z's love for Aaliyah. One such fan tweeted, Fun fact. Aaliyah close friend Jay-Z put her onto a book called The Seed of the Soul she read up until she died. The book focuses on the spirit of the human species moving from valuing external power to authentic power. He said he felt like it prepared her for afterlife. Let's be honest, 
Jay-Z will never love Beyonce like he did Aaliyah, said another. I love Beyonce, but if Aaliyah was alive, Bey would be number two. Don't forget Jay-Z wanted Aaliyah first, wrote a third user. I apologize, because at your best you are… love. Jay-Z making reference to Aaliyah, he really did love her. This lyric is taken from one of Jay-Z's most famous songs, 444. It is a song from Jay-Z's 13th studio album of the same name, which was released in 2017. The song is produced by No ID and was written by Jay-Z. The song is widely considered to be a personal and introspective track, where Jay-Z opens up about his personal life and past mistakes, specifically his infidelity and how it affected his relationship with his wife, Beyonce. In 444, Jay-Z addresses the rumors of infidelity that were mentioned in Beyonce's 2016 album Lemonade and apologizes for his actions. He also speaks about his relationship with his father, who he had a strained relationship with for many years, and how he wants to be a better father to his own children. Since it is a song where he is saying sorry to his wife for all the women he has loved before her, it makes all the sense in the world that these lyrics reflect his love for Aaliyah, whom he still holds very dear. The best proof of this is the fact that Jay-Z has referenced Aaliyah in other songs throughout his career. When Aaliyah's life was tragically cut short in 2001, the loss of such a talented artist was felt deeply in the music industry, and Jay-Z paid tribute to her in several of his songs. In Miss You, Jay-Z rapped about his feelings of loss and grief following Aaliyah's death. In one emotional part of the song, Jay-Z says, Have you ever loved somebody who used to get the party poppin'? We used to party hop. We used to be in the Hamptons, party a lot, referring to the times when he used to party with Aaliyah and confesses being in love with her. He also worked with her brother, Rashad Houghton, to produce the posthumous album I Care For You, which featured unreleased songs and remixes of her biggest hits. While their relationship may have been the subject of speculation, there's no denying the impact that Jay-Z and Aaliyah had on each other's careers and the music industry as a whole. Their collaborations will be remembered as some of the most iconic in hip-hop history, and despite Aaliyah turning down Jay-Z before her untimely demise, she will forever remain his muse and the one girl that got away. He will always love her. Click on one of the two videos on your screen right now.